I'm David Grissom. I'm here at Wildwood Guitars demonstrating the new limited edition DGT uh, run of 20 that Wildwood has ordered and has in stock. Um, really neat instruments. This has the signature sunburst uh, finish, uh, the one piece stop tail piece bridge, and the sinker mahogany neck. Um, the, quite a few things different than a typical DGT, obviously no tremolo, but uh, when talking with Steve here and Paul Reed Smith, we came up with a, a kind of a combination of things that we thought would really make a unique instrument. And um, this is my first uh, chance to sit down and play them, and I'm, I, I'm really knocked out and uh, lobbying to get one myself. I think I know somebody that might be able to help me out with that. But um, anyway, I'm really, really excited about them. This uh, is number 19. It weighs 7.22 pounds. And it's number 171245. Um, pretty darn light. Really a light guitar. The neck is uh, not any skinnier than it should be. It's really typical of the way um, I envision the DGT neck carve to be. It's really hard to get this neck consistent. Uh, and any guitar company will tell you that, even the the, the finest uh, single man luthers will t tell you that you know the slightest bit of sanding can really change the uh, the shape of the neck but this one they've all been really really consistent um, this guitar again is like this this is one of the ones that sounds kind of like an auto harp when you strum it there's so many harmonics uh, happening um, so it's just really an alive instrument it's a beautiful thing um, here is the uh, bridge pickup, just straight into the amp. And in listening to that, I would say of the this is this is definitely one of the lighter ones of of the lighter ones. This has more mids than any of the other ones that I've heard. Real musical mids uh, in, in a very nice way. Uh, kind of driving the amp in a, 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 a medium level, the way the other compared to the other ones, it's it's not really overdriving the front end, but it's not anemic. It's just a really nice um, balanced, clean tone. Here's the neck pickup. Really super well balanced uh, with the bridge pickup, and really nice and clear complimentary to this other pickup. Um, still have the DGT electronics uh, with the uh, split coil thing, which we really worked hard to get, especially the bridge pickup, to uh, have, its, have a unique character unto itself, but not lose a lot of volume and add too much top end. So in humbucking, That's that sound, and here's the single coil. And the the one thing I noticed, it's a really a cool difference, um, not better or worse than the tremolo model, but with the stop tailpiece, the single coil sound on the bridge pickup takes on, um, whereas in the, in the tremolo model, it's more of a tele single coil sound. In these guitars, it's much more of a uh, Rick Rickenbacker, Gretsch, Jangle, uh, maybe even a Jazzmaster, ja Jaguar, or that kind of sound. Really nice. Really nice to have that tone in addition to the humbucking sound. In the neck pickup, that's humbucking, and here's single coil. Really uh, keeps the glassy strat uh, neck pickup sound that's also in the tremolo DGT. Real, real usable sounds. Here's the bridge pickup with a clean overdrive, clean boost. Uh, 
again, just hitting the front end of the amp a little harder and, and, and increasing the volume a notch. Here's an overdrive pedal on the same pickup. To me, it sounds like on, on, uh, with the overdrive on this guitar, the top notes are a little brighter, um, cut through a little more, if that's what you're after. I think this is a really good choice. This would be a good choice for you. Here's the neck pickup with a, um, a clean boost. And with an overdrive pedal. This guitar has a, that great thing where when you hold a note and it starts to feed back a little bit, it goes up an octave, which is something I really, really love and have tried to shoot for with the pickups. Um, nice guitar.